good morning everyone nope it's not good morning it's good afternoon <laughs> It looks dark outside though. Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Tammy from Nutmeg Notebook. Tom's here with me. He's over there checking, making sure sound and video is working well. So we thank you for being here today. As you can see, I've got a lot of stuff here that we are going to be talking about today. So if you have questions, you can put questions in the chat. We just ask that you preface them with three question marks and end with three question marks. That will just help those questions pop out so Tom can see them better. I will also be trying to follow the chat over here as well. And people are coming on, that's great. So um, today we thought we would talk a little bit about some different products that we use. So since the bundle just came out, we have a lot of new followers. People found us through the bundle. And the bundle, in case you're watching and you don't know, the bundle was a wonderful collection of digital products that were put together by different people in the plant-based community. People who blog, recipe developers. Uh, we have lots of doctors that participated in it. And we sold about $6,500 worth of stuff in a bundle, all digital content that you got for $49. So since that has happened, we are getting a flood of questions about, you know, what do you use for this and what seasoning do you like for that? And then if you saw us on the truth about weight loss on Sunday, we were interviewed, it was actually recorded in advance, uh, with Chef AJ and Tom made his famous dump soup that people are loving and so we're getting questions about his dump soup as well. So if you have questions about any of that or anything plant-based, please feel free to uh, chime in and ask us because we are here to help you. So these open Q&As, these chats are just that. It's all about whatever topic you guys want to talk about. But since I've been answering so many questions through emails and on Facebook and Instagram, I thought I would do a little overview of things here on today's show um, just to help everybody out a little bit. So good to see so many of you in the chat. Um, oh, well, well, your world today. Uh, Mary Jo says, what a busy educational day. Truth about weight loss summit, well your world, and now nutmeg. It's a win-win-win day. <laughs> well, that's great. You're getting a little bit of all of us. So um, Allison says, where do you all find dried mushrooms for the dump soup? I checked with my Costco in Reno and they don't have them. You know, not all Costco's carry the same things. It is a regional product at our Costco, but we do have them on our Amazon store as well and there you want to talk tom you want to come on camera well about the mushrooms <laughs> say so, hi to the folks hi i i don't know that my mic is on let me oh well okay no it's no not. it's not i was trying to be quiet Gotta it's get... a mouse over there <laughs> on those dried mushrooms i add those for the umami flavoring uh mm -hmm. you know they give it a, a a deep you know really um i call it an earthy flavor and also, I like that they add a little bit of chew. I mentioned that in the in the summit uh, presentation, but not having them is not a deal breaker for right. the recipe. This recipe is rich with mushrooms, um, so you know if you want to get that that dark flavor, I call it. You could actually add a little tiny bit of umami seasoning, uh, but don't worry about not having those mushrooms. I think they were uh, a later evolution that I you didn't do them in the beginning, not at the very beginning. And as I mentioned uh, on the summit. Dump soup does evolve. That's why it's called dumpy <laughs> dump soup. So it could be whatever you dump in. You it. can dump in it, whatever you fancy. My my recipe is a is a a, a, a jumping off point, so to speak. But so. you can get dried mushrooms at other places as yes. well. Now they're usually very expensive, small quantities. But you can buy a small bag of dried mushrooms at yeah. most grocery stores. Whole Foods has them. They have a variety of them. Um, in one of the, I think like where the canned foods are yeah. and stuff, um, or the aisle where the broth is, maybe they have them. 
and you can get dried mushrooms from other places and then you can also get mushroom powder and yeah. so oh yeah I you think... talked about mushroom powder last week that would add that same flavor absolutely so, and so, i was thinking i had it out um Yes, I do. The, I have it's called one out. depth. So this one is called depth. I don't have. Look, I'm going to roll back over. My camera is uh, is it's the spice camera. So I'm going to go turn on the spice camera. I'll see you guys later. Bye. But you can come back anytime, babe. Okay. And I have so, wheels. I can roll. So from local spicery, you can get this. This is called depth. See, I've got to figure out which way to go. Um, this is depth, and you can get this, and you know, put a little bit of this. In and it will also give you that little boost of umami flavor. So let me tell you what's in this. It's uh, what they say is that it's meaty, earthy, savory, delicious. Add to stir fries, casseroles, risotto, soup, and stew. Uh, da, 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 da. It is onion, long pepper, kombu, porcini, mushrooms, and tomato. And um, this is I gotta go the right way. This is delicious. So um, this is from Local Spicery. Tom, do we have the Local Spicery? We have an affiliate link with them. Yeah, is I, it I, in the... it's in the show notes, but I'm moving it up to the top as okay. well. Okay, it's in the show notes. So, and these are made by um, Local Spicery in small batches. They actually mill all of their spices themselves. So everything is extremely fresh when you get it. And this is lovely. So that is another option yeah i've got or, warrior world and local spicery in the items mentioned in this video near the top put me back on one. Oh, <laughs> thank you and then um and you can you know skip them as well also on our amazon affiliate page there is a link in the show notes and the show notes is the description underneath the YouTube video here, you'll see it says like dot, dot, dot more, or there might be a down arrow or a little chevron, depending on what device you're watching us on. And then there's a description and we put, we try to put all of our links in there for you. So on our Amazon affiliate page, I think you will find a mushroom powder and it might be in the intermittent fasting uh, page. So the, our pages are broken up in categories and I think it's in the intermittent fasting because it's something that I use when I'm doing a modified intermittent fast with um, Sia Hurst from 60 Living. Okay, so hopefully that answers the questions about the mushrooms. Shelly said she made much the dump soup using all frozen products on the stovetop and it was awesome. Thanks, Tom. Jesse says, I have an order on the way from local spicery as we speak. That's awesome. We're actually going there on Saturday to pick my order up. Uh, Nikki says, hi, Tammy. What was the theme of your chopped salad today? I didn't get to have my chopped salad yet. So I'm actually going to be having it for dinner tonight. And um, we had dentist appointments this morning. So we had to go get our um, teeth cleaned, have our hygiene appointment. So when we got home, we had to just eat something quick and get set up so there was no time to chew a chopped salad so i will be having that for my dinner tonight and i have been on a kick of doing mexican this week although i had two of my salads yesterday i did a chopped salad for my lunch yesterday and i did mexican and then i decided to have another chopped salad last night but i sauteed it instead and tom was watching me make it and he was like, wow, I think I really want that too. So we just, we took our batch prepped salads and first we sauteed some extra red onion and some mushrooms. We had baby bellas and shiitakes. And then to that, we added all of the ingredients that are in our batched prepped salads. And then we served it over some warm rice. And then we had some marinated tofu that I had baked earlier in the week because we had the grandkids here and so we had a little bit of that and then I had a little bit of a um, Stokes purple sweet potato that I had baked batch prepped and I cut that up heated it up and I had that with it as well and it was delicious so tonight I think I'll probably do Mexican again because I batch prep the little tortilla strips in the air fryer I just take my oil-free corn tortillas cut them in thin little strips 
put them in the air fryer at 375, depending on how thick they are, it, it can take three to five minutes and then they're done and they're crispy. And then I put them in a glass container with a nice uh, lid that seals and they stay, they'll stay crispy for weeks. So, um, so anyway, Mexican will be tonight. And I, it's so funny, I, I thought, since I'm not getting my salad in at lunch today, somebody's gonna ask me what my salad was. So, great question. You got questions from Liz Lena and uh, from Connie Murr, uh, where I showed you on your iPad over Okay, there. so Liz says, Tammy and Tom, Tammy, you remind me how long, would you remind me how long you roast the mini peppers, and do you put vinegar on them once they are roasted? I do not. And um, I think it, it's either 400 or 425 degrees. So the recipe is in my ebook. I could just look right there, or I can have Tom look it up for me. The roasted peppers should be in there. I just knocked my pen to the floor. Um, you know, after a while with all it. these recipes, I cannot remember them all. <laughs> um, so Tom will give us the time and the temperature in a minute. Connie says, are you cooking at the conference in June? Yes. So Connie is talking about the National Health Association Conference, which is in June in Ohio. Thanks, babe. And Tom and I are actually going to be doing a cooking demonstration. Uh, I don't know which day or what time yet. And we haven't um, decided exactly what I'm making. We have to also coordinate with the other people who are going to be doing cooking demonstrations to make sure that we're all doing something different so that you all get a nice variety. So I have submitted some recipe ideas to Wanda Huberman and, um, and I'll know pretty soon what I'm making. Because, uh, you know, they like to put the recipes all together and give everybody a packet with the recipes from the conference. And I think they're going to also be serving some of my recipes at the conference so i'm excited about that as well um, and that's all you know still in a little bit of the planning stages so i think let's see um, let's see i think mary Jo says would depth give us a hint of iodine it does have kombu in it so tom can you look up and see how much kombu um, how much iodine there might be in kombu. Um, and so you'll, you would get a little bit, it looks like. Okay. I think, um, Lisa says, I bought a bunch of fresh veggies yesterday and we'll be making dump soup tonight or tomorrow. Thanks for the inspiration. You know, I think that we have <laughs> just created uh, quite a little uh, rumble through the plant-based community. I think so many people are making dump soup this week. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Tom's over here smiling from ear to ear. And we're getting rave reviews. So Tiffany- Well, what did some of us used to say about dump soup a couple of years ago? I said, oh, Tom, nobody's gonna want to make this dump soup. <laughs> But you've gotten it better. It's so much better than it was when you first started. Wouldn't you agree? All, and I have eaten it yeah. now, and I will say it's good. All things improve with time, especially dump soup and me. <laughs> well, the same must go for me, is Absolutely. Too. We're like fine wine. We get better as we age. age. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So on the oven-roasted sweet mini peppers, if you have the... Um, batch cooking with Tammy course. If you look in your ebook, it's on page 55. I, this is also on the blog, you guys. You can get the uh, instructions off the blog and 425 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. I will tell you it's going to vary depending on your oven. If I do them in the Breville Smart Oven Air, just doing bake, not air frying them, then they, it goes pretty quick because they're very close to the heating element. If I do it in my big oven, then it takes a little bit longer because it's further, they're further away from the heating element. And I started out air frying them. This is the oven roasted sweet mini peppers you can see here. And I started out doing them in the air fryer, and but they release so much juice and it would make a terrible mess. And then I would, you know, spend 20 minutes cleaning up the oven when I was done. So they turn out just as good if you just put them on parchment paper or a silpat mat 
on a rimmed baking sheet and just bake them in the oven. So those are delicious. Great questions, you guys. So um, I am going to... Oh, I have that question you asked. Yes. Combo does have uh, you know, the highest iodine content as compared to uh, uh, Wacom. Can uh, everybody hear Tom? Yeah, my, my mic is Your on. mic is on, okay. Yeah. So Kombu has quite a bit of Kombu iodine. Kombu not only contains iodine, it has the highest amount of iodine of all of the seaweeds, making it one of the most iodine-rich foods. So if there's a little bit of Kombu in there, then you're getting a little dose of, of, of iodine. Yeah, it's, it's in the middle. Onions first, then long pepper, then Kombu, then porcini, uh, mushrooms, and then tomato. So, so there we go. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the ingredients and then we'll come back to the questions. So you might wanna hold your questions so that we don't miss them um, right now. So let's first talk about some of the seasonings that Tom mentioned when he was demonstrating the dump soup that has gone viral. And so for those of you who don't know, the dump soup is on the blog. So you can just Google dump, nutmeg notebook dump soup. And it's actually, it's the most current recipe on the blog for the blog post. It's right there. So, and t there we go. And, and that's what it looks like. Yeah, and, yeah, and here's what it looks like. And right there, right there it is. Nice. Okay, back to <laughs> what camera do you want on? You want spice camera? Using the Kirkland no salt seasoning. So some people are telling us that they have heard that Kirkland, which is Costco, does not have the no salt seasoning right now. So some people have said they're out of it. Some people have said they were told that it's been discontinued. We don't know. We tried to find out online and we couldn't find anything it's, it's for not sure. Out there. It's if you look on Costco.com, it says not available, but it didn't say discontinued, but it did say not not available. So, but Tom also likes this original Mrs. Dash and this larger container of it we do buy at Sam's Club has it, but um, you can also, you know, look and see if you have a big box store where you live that might have it. I don't know, like Shop Smart and Final we have here is kind of a store that caters to like small restaurant owners. You might be able to find it there. And then this is a really nice one. Oh, I need the, you took my camera away. This Zesty from Well Your World tastes similar to this. It's not a dead ringer for it, but it's very, very similar. So um, I tested, I tasted both of them before we went live today, just to see, have you, you should do a side-by-side -side to it's see. It's probably testier. I know that, I know that the, uh, the Dash is, is more, is much more lively than this. This is more of a, a smooth, uh, moderate uh, thing. Is there some citrus mixed in here? Um, so what's the main ingredient? The top ones are onion, garlic, carrot, black pepper, red bell pepper, tomato, orange peel, parsley, okay. thyme, basil, celery, mustard seed, okay, cumin. Okay, that's far enough. See, this has black pepper very near the front of the list, so yeah. there's more pepper and in this And you like one. that. I like that, And yeah. then this one, the, the zesty, from Well Your World is onion, spices, ca carrot, garlic, orange peel, lemon peel, lemon, black pepper, and citric, some citric acid. So we have a link for this in the show notes for Well Your World, and it is our affiliate link. We are affiliates with them, and we love their spices. So any no salt seasoning that you like would work. These also have a lot of other flavors that they're adding to it, but if you can't find something like this, instead of putting two cups of water in the pot, you could do two cups of vegetable broth because the vegetable broth will have a lot of flavor on its own. So you could do that as well. Yeah, I guess I've been I'm getting that camera. Mrs. Dash. I've been, yeah, you're on your camera. I've been getting the Mrs. Dash in a two pack on Amazon more recently because I was having trouble finding that in some store. No, I got it at Sam's Club. Oh, you found it? The, you found Mrs. Dash at Sam's Club? Yes. Oh, the time before I had to order it from Amazon. Okay. okay. I went and got it at, uh, last week okay. or the week before at Sam's Club. All right. Okay, so that's, that is those. 
That and is that, those? That is those? That is those, those, are th those are them? Those are them from... <laughs> I know. I can you tell I'm tired today. Can you tell? Okay, so that is is that. Another question is what do you use for vegetable broth? So what I normally use for vegetable broth is the bada bean bouillon from local spicery, but I am out of it right now. And so the bonafide vegetable broth. I bought this, it was on sale the other day at Whole Foods. It usually sells for around $5 a box here in California, which is ridiculous. Uh, there's also the Plant Strong one, and it's half the size and sells for $5, which is even more ridiculous. So you can, of course, you can make your own. Lots of people have recipes for that online save your veggie scraps throw them in the instant pot with water and make them i don't have a recipe for it i've never done it uh, it's just one more step um, and i'm trying to not work so hard in the kitchen but i like from local spicery i do like to buy the uh, bada 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 bean bada, bada bean bouillon and it's delicious and i use it so much that i actually used up what I had. So, but this was on sale, I think it was for $3.99. And this one is water, onions, um, all the usual stuff. It does not have any oil in it and it does not have any added salt. It does have 60 grams of sodium that just comes naturally from the vegetables in it. So, uh, you have to really read the labels at the store because most of them do have oil. This one happens to be oil free. I've seen it at Sprouts and at Whole Foods. So, and I don't know if it's on Amazon or not. I haven't looked. Chef, Chef Yin has joined us. Hey. And Jesse is just making sure that you don't uh, forget the salacious. Yes, I'm. It's I'm, in there. Yeah, okay. I'm going to be talking. I'm going to be talking about the no salt um, other seasonings in a minute. Okay, so give me the cam for the spices. Thank you. That's called so, Spice Cam. Spice Cam. Hello, Spice Cam. So another question that's been coming up is what brand of kelp granules are you using in the dressing for the lemon dill chickpea salad? And I put a little bit of kelp in it and this is what I buy. I get this at Whole Foods. I do think that they have this on Amazon. I think I've seen it on Amazon. I don't recall if we have it in our pantry store or not, but Tom's going to look and see. Oh, what am I looking at? So the, the kelp oh, grab. If it's in our pantry? Yeah. Okay. Look and see if that's in our pantry items. So this is in the Asian food aisle at Whole Foods. I've also seen it at health food stores. And if you have a grocery store that caters to the Asian um, community in your area, then they may have it also. And it's optional. You don't have to use it, but it does give it a nice little flavor if, what, you're, trying, if you're trying to mimic. Oh. Okay, take me off of the cam and I'll give it to you. If you're trying to mimic kind of like the flavor of I hate to say it, but the tuna fish that maybe we used to eat, the tuna fish salad, then it's really nice for that. So, and there is a lemon dill dressing with capers that's in the ebook. And so, and somebody, I did see somebody asked, how do you get the ebook? It is a part of our course, our batch cooking with Tammy course, which is an online course, 32 videos, and this um, 100 page ebook that goes with the videos all about batch cooking and through the month of now through the month of March we do have a 25% discount when you use the discount code batch b a t c h 25 and that will give you a 25% discount so yes these are in our pantry okay so if you go to our amazon store yeah, and the brand then, is main coast there at the top yeah main coast then it's in our pantry on our Amazon store. Okay, then I want to, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about these because they're sitting here. So if you give me the spice cam again. 
So this is something that I found. Well, now last... it's CrowdCam. It's CrowdCam. <laughs> Why, yes, it is. Now <laughs> it is CrowdCam. Here we go with the CrowdCam. Only by the Kramers. Kraut cam by the so Kramer. So is that the Kramer Kraut cam? It's the Kramer Kraut pan, can, cam. Uh, you I better even, give that up. Better. I better because it's going south okay, back really to fast. Kraut, uh, back to okay, Kraut cam. so it. I love sauerkraut. It's really a great um, ferment, good probiotic for your gut health. They're usually so loaded with sodium that it's ridiculous, right? So I found these at Whole Foods and I thought, well, I'm going to look and see how much sodium is in them. They are in the refrigeration section back where they have all the different types of krauts and a lot of the vegan foods. They put them kind of together. So this, for three tablespoons, this has 0.07 grams of salt per serving. 0.07. So very, very little salt in it and that is for both of them so this one is carrots and cabbage and turmeric garlic chili and black pepper it's delicious and i just have a couple tablespoons i add it to my chopped salad and then this one is cabbage and a little bit of sea salt a little bit of cumin and coriander and these are absolutely delicious I don't know if these are just regional or if you'll be able to find them at every Whole Foods. A lot of times, you know, they carry products that are just regional. So the brand name on this is Wild West Ferments. So, um, and they, this is absolutely delicious. So I just wanted to share that in case anybody's looking for some sauerkraut. And if you make the carrot dogs, I have never made those, believe it or not. But if you make the carrot dogs and you want to be able to have a low sodium sauerkraut on top of there and you don't want to make it yourself, I would say these are a really great option. Okay, so that covers that. And now, let's see, I think I'm going to bring these over because people are asking about salt substitutes because in my eBooks, I do talk about salt substitutes because, woo, my chair went, because that's, that's what we use. And um, Tom and I aren't completely salt free, but I don't add any salt to our cooking, but we do use some condiments that have salt in them. And so people are saying, well, you know, what's your favorite salt substitute? So I will show you some different ones that we can get. So back to the the cam. Here we go. All right. So the first one that we ever had was um, this one here, Benson's Table Tasty. And you can get this direct from the company or you can order it on Amazon. We do have it on our Amazon page. And you'll need to look at the ingredients. It has a lot of ingredients. I'm not going to go through all the ingredients here. That would be a little uh, boring for everybody. But it does have a salty flavor. It's very good. It's great for seasoning beans and soups and, you know, putting on potatoes, whatever you might have. Then, um, then we have the Well Your World Stardust and Galaxy Dust. And this one, I believe, does not have any um, nutritional yeast in it. Right. This one does not have nutritional yeast in it. This one does. And so if you're sensitive to nutritional yeast, you don't want to get the Stardust. You'll want to get the Galaxy instead. And these also have a really nice flavor. We use both of them. Tom likes the Stardust. That's his favorite. So those are really good. And then Local Spicery came out with this one. Let me get it down here where you can see it. The Salacious. And this one tastes the most like salt of any salt substitute that we have tasted. And that is what most people say. And it is, it tastes really, really salty. So this is from Local Spicery. We do have a link. We, do, we are affiliates with them and uh, we do have a link with them and so this is incredible 
down uh, in the show notes. Um, yeah, down in the show notes. This one actually tastes like salt. They're all good. They all give you a little bit of a salty flavor, but this one is the most salt-like. And then um, the other Well Your World, they have a wide variety of different seasonings, and I'm particularly fond of this chili lime one. I love this. I love to put this on my chopped salads when I'm doing my Mexican. We take this with us when we travel because we can take um, canned beans, some frozen corn, and some salsa, and then season it with this and have a delicious meal over a baked potato. And we can microwave the potato in the microwave in our hotel room. And so we take it traveling with us and we take salt substitute traveling with us as well. And then Well Your World also has a lot of salt, oil, sugar-free products. So all of their products are SOS free, salt, oil, and sugar-free. You can get to, to um, you can get marinara sauce, you can get salad dressings, you can get an Asian sauce and Indian sauce, ketchup, barbecue sauce, lots of different seasonings. Their, their nutritional yeast is our favorite nutri nutritional yeast. I buy three or four cans of it at a time. They have a gravy mix, they have a cheese mix, they have a pancake mix. So if you're looking for some uh, more convenience type items, then Well Your World is a great option. So then um, here is more on local spicery. So people are always asking me, what are your favorite spices? We actually have a landing page. If you go to localspicery.com forward slash nutmeg notebook, then you will get to see, I have a whole list there of spices that I repeatedly purchase and use. And so, and of course, one is the salacious salt substitute, which is, is. <laughs> there we go, which is amazing. And then, um, so and if you scroll down, yeah, there's a link if you want to click on Tammy's Shop Nutmeg Notebook Favorites there right in the here middle. Right in the middle, see? Yeah, if you click on that, then that will take you to a page where it shows uh -huh. all of the yummy spices that I buy. So, like I said, their spices are super fresh and delicious, and they have the best cinnamon that you have ever tasted. And Tom, if you could do Spice Cam again for me. Okay. So this cinnamon is absolutely amazing. It's the Saigon Cassia cinnamon. You will think that there is sugar in it. He's even had people come back and say, there's sugar in this. And he's like, no, there's no sugar <laughs> added. So I love that, you know, and all the basics, onion powder, garlic powder, they taste like fresh. It's amazing how delicious they are. The uh, Chipotle, chili powder. You guys know I love this. I use this in my cheese sauce all the time. Smoked paprika, also a staple item around here. The sumac, and this has a very sour taste to it, but, um, and it can kind of trick your tongue into thinking that it's something salty, and it's really delicious over vegetables, potatoes, rice, anything that you want. It has a little bit of a purple color to it. It's wonderful. The depth we talked about earlier as well. And then there's this Moroccan breakfast spice, which is really, oh, it's just so lovely. You know, put it over your oatmeal and it's just delicious. And then um, the ground cumin, even when you open this up. So these, you can get jars. There's small jars and large jars. So you can see those here side by side. There's here, I'll turn off your window so they can see. Okay, right. so there's small jars and large jars that you can get. And then if you want to save money, then order the refill packs. And then you can just refill your jars with them. And you know then you're not paying for the glass jars. So that can save you a little bit of money too. So I have pumpkin spice here. This is my refill for my smoked paprika. 
the ground cumin because I love Mexican food, so I use a lot of ground cumin. And the gingerbread spice is just lovely. You can put it in your oatmeal, you can put it in cookies. And then, of course, I, I um, asked them if they could sell me a bucket. I was like, could you just sell me a bucket of this stuff? <laughs> because we love it. It's Which one's so that? good. This is the Salacious uh -oh. Salt Substitute. I was like, I think I need two bags of it unless you have a bucket. I'll take a bucket if you have a bucket. So anyway, and then on to the last thing that I want to talk about are the chocolate chips. So people are always having a tough time finding the chocolate chips and that are unsweetened. And then these came out. These were from Trader Joe's. Delicious, only cacao. Uh, one ingredient, organic unsweetened chocolate. It was like, oh, this is so fantastic. Well, they've discontinued them. What were they thinking? It's so frustrating. So I still have I, one or two bags. Well, we could sell it on eBay for 10 times the original price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Well, that's Let's what auction it off. Well, that's what there, some people were doing with the Kirkland I know, salt seasoning. It was I a, know. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It was a ridiculous price. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's auction it off. Well, it'll go to the highest bidder. Um, so anyway, these were delicious. I loved them while they had them. I don't know why they've discontinued them. It's very sad that they have done so. Um, so when these are gone, I know some people are buying some off of Amazon. I've heard good and bad about different brands on Amazon. If you have found an unsweetened, a chocolate chip put it put the brand in the in the chat if the you comments. would in the comments or in the chat if you got it right now yeah or you can or you can send it to us and let us know um, because that would be very helpful for people so I know there's stevia sweetened ones there's some that are sweetened with the sugar alcohols I'm one of those people who the sugar alcohols don't agree with so I can't have those and quite frankly I'm used to them not being sweet so I don't want them sweetened with stevia or sugar alcohols so so if you still have some of these you are fortunate because they are no longer around so before I before Trader Joe's had come out with them I had learned about unsweetened chocolate chips from Brittany and Giroudi from the Giroudi family lovely blog and YouTube channel. She's whole food plant-based. Check her out. Amazing recipes. Uh, I had found out about the Santa Barbara Chocolate Company and I bought a bag and it lasted me, I think, two years. And when I went back to the site to buy them again, they no longer had that particular one. This is what it has been replaced by. And there. And so this is organic cacao that's one ingredient they are organic they come from uh, the the cacao comes from Peru and then the Santa Barbara company in California turns them into these little chips so I will show that, you you're buying that online right and these are bought online and I'll tell you what these are super expensive it's forty four dollars for two pounds of them and the ones that I used to buy were smaller so now you can see they call these I think they call them little buttons little chocolate buttons it doesn't say that oh wafers unsweetened chocolate mini wafers they're absolutely delicious they to me they don't taste bitter like a lot of unsweetened chocolate can taste really bitter and to me these don't taste bitter so um, I think they're delicious, but it's $44 for two pounds and then shipping to Cal, it comes from California. What I live in California and it was $16 and 10 cents to have them shipped yeah, to me. Jesse said she invested, I mean that literally in a bag of unsweetened 100% cacao chips from Santa Barbara chocolate. Right. So, I mean, it's a good thing that I don't use a lot of them and this bag will probably last me two years. So if you have a buddy that lives close to you that you can share, I went on to check um, the price before we went live today. You can get two two pound bags 
for ninety nine dollars. Oh, those are fifty bucks a piece. And free shipping. Oh. So I paid sixty dollars oh, with shipping to get this one bag. One bag, and now you can get two two pound bags for ninety nine dollars and free shipping. So if you think you want these, you need to order them now before warm weather comes so that you don't end up getting a chocolate brick that melts in the heat. And so when I bought them before, I bought them early in the spring before the temperatures started to get warm. If they're 100 percent chocolate though, they won't have a, they'll have a higher melting temp temperature because they won't have, <laughs> they won't have, you know, chocolate. They'll still melt. Ask Jesse. Jesse, I think Jesse had ordered some chips from Amazon, and when they came, they were in a melted brick. Oh, okay. They melted together. So, I mean, these melt when you put them in the oven. They melt. Okay. When you put it, when you bake them um, in brownies or what oh, have you. Jesse's taking so, hers to the safety deposit box at the <laughs> bank. <laughs> it is not a bad idea. Um, I just, you know, I uh, my. My jaw dropped when I saw the price, but I thought, okay, well, my first bag lasted me. It, my first bag, though, I think was three pounds, but it lasted me at least two years. So um, we'll see what happens. So, so that's what I know about chocolate chips. I have seen lots of different brands listed on Amazon. I have read review after review after review and lots of disappointment on the ones that are totally unsweetened because like I said, I don't want them with any stevia or sugar alcohols in them. So if you find something- Well, here's somebody's making a comment there about some Camino, Gary. Okay, organic Camino unsweetened chocolate. Now this is, is that another brand that you have found, yeah. Gary? Because this is Criollo, is what these are. These are Criollo. Yeah, he's offering up another brand. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Google it. Okay, Tom's going to look it up and see. Um, yeah, so Jesse ordered the Pasha brand from Amazon and ended up getting two bags of Melton hardened, hardened and powdered. Oh, that, yeah, that's Santa Barbara chocolate. Uh, um, yeah. yeah, so well, these are, these are the Criollo, C-R-I-O-L-L-O. Is what these are. Oh, this is from Canada. Here we go. Okay, Tom thinks he found Let's it. Let's see what it is. Camino unsweetened baking chocolate, the real chocolatey deal. Uh, okay, and that's in Canada. Jesse just posted a link. Yeah, for seventy dollars and sixty cents. Ten okay. years times two hundred grams. All right, so. so they're just as pricey. So I will tell you that these are like a premium chocolate. They're amazing. So, I mean, I like them better than these. They're smoother, less bitter than these. Although I like these too. I like those. But, you know, maybe whoever's making these for Trader Joe's will make them in, um, it says it's a product of Italy. Interesting. Hmm. So I don't know, the quest is on you guys for something that isn't so expensive. Uh, $44 for two pounds is just like crazy. But then I figure, you know, we rarely eat out. I don't drink. I'm not buying sweets, you know. So um, I guess for me, if that lasts for uh, a year and a half to two years and I'm able to make my chocolate treats that I like that have chocolate chips in them, then it'll, it's, it'll be worth it. Okay, so where do you find the show notes? Al Walker wants to know. So it, if you look at the video on YouTube, I don't think it shows up if you're watching it on your TV, if you're watching YouTube on your TV. You have to be watching it on a computer or your smartphone or a, a notepad. Um, an, I, an iPad, you'll see dot, 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 more. Tap on that and it should give you the description depending on what device you're looking at. It could have a down arrow or a little chevron that is pointing down. It looks like a V. In the PC, it just says see more underneath yeah. the video. And on my iPad, it you're says... You're looking at it right now, it just says more. It says more on my iPad. 
And on the computer, Tom says it says see more. Yo, or just more. I don't remember. Or just more. And, and that's so right you after just, your hashtags. And you just, yeah. So it's it has hashtag nutmeg notebook, hashtag weight loss, dot, 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 more. And then you tap on that and then you get to see the description that's underneath the video. And all the links. Yep. And all the links. Very good question. Thank you for asking that. That helps a lot of people. Looking for any more questions in case I've missed anything. There may have been questions when I stopped. No, I, I scanned through taking, there. You, you because did? you asked people to hold their questions until. Okay, so now I'm done with that. So if you want to put questions in, please do. Uh, Jesse says that Sylvia Garcia asks, can you please make a video on how to download the vegan bundle into a folder on a laptop device, please. We told them in our debriefing that they should do that, that they should make a yeah, download we, we tutorial. Yeah, we did ask the producers of the bundle if for next year, if they could provide that. And, you know, everybody's computer is going to be a little bit different. Some people are downloading it to an iPad. Some people want to put it on their phone. Um, some, you know, everybody's got lots of different devices. Mm -hmm. So what we've been telling people is, um, find a teenager <laughs> because teenagers know how to do all of this. Find a teenager, a neighbor, a relative, a grandchild, um, you know, somebody in your life who works on a computer. So they, you know, know their way around. And literally in five minutes, they can help you put it on your computer. If you have somebody right there with you, it will make it so much easier. Um, anything else you want to add to that, Tom? No, just, you know, it's the conversation. You know, the question was specific to a PC. And on your computer, we... We clicked on the little folder icon in the bottom of the uh, of the window, and this is uh, only applies to Windows. See, it doesn't apply to Macintosh. They have a whole different. Yeah, we system. don't know how you do it. On but that. you create a folder, and we named it UW or Bundle 2023, mm -hmm. and that's the first thing you do. And then you go to the send all link, and you open up the PDF, and then you click on down. Go to the bottom and click on download all, and somewhere in there, it's going to ask you where to put it and that's where you tell it to put it in that folder that you created that says bundle 2023 so that's the short answer but where things show up on on different folks computers i can't really predict right um but but that's what we did and then from that folder you can you know move it around as you wish you know so um so it doesn't get lost in your computer somewhere yeah i think if, it's, if it's you don't exactly know where it go on a windows based pc there's a, it, in, when you click on my computer and there's a, a button for quick access and it shows you your, mo your most recent activities and you can click on the download on, on the quick access list and then you can click on uh, show in folder if you don't know where it went. And then that will give you the name of the folder where your computer put it. And sometimes when I download things, I have to do that because I'm not quite sure where my computer put it. <laughs> right. Okay, so Wendy says that Apple, um, if you go, if you have an Apple device, you can make a folder and then you can download to the folder that you want. And someone else said if you have an Apple, you can actually call the Apple store and they will walk you through it for free. That's awesome. Uh, Sandra says, I use an iPad, not a computer, and I had to download each item individually. And Karen says, the Criollo chips are three two-pound bags for 99 in free shipping. I also got 10% off. So it's three two-pound bags for $99. Well, that's for... for um, this one, I think, this particular one, I believe, was it was two. You go look it up, would you? Okay. Verify. Where did you buy them? From Santa Barbara Chocolate Company, right here. But okay. you have to have this name because oh. they have a lot of different chips. Okay. Okay. Um, 
Let's see. What is Tammy drinking? Wendy wants to know. I am drinking herbal tea. Um, it's the yogi tea and it's the licorice one. I really like it. Uh, let's see. Jessie says the recommendation was to download each item individually. She tried download all first, but had to go back and find the missing files and then do them individually. Yeah, not every device can handle downloading all of that content at one time because um, it's a lot of content and then you can end up missing some of it. Kelly says, how often do you oil your Holland Bowl whenever it starts looking dry. So you can just tell by the look of it, oh, it's starting to look kind of dull. I think that we need to oil it. So how often you need to oil it is really going to depend on how often you use it. So there isn't like a set, you know, every three weeks or what have you. It depends on how often you're using it. And when we rinse it out, we always take a towel and dry it so that it's not absorbing a bunch of water. So you want to take really good care of them. Okay, I've got the, the, it is three right here, three, this, there's a two pound bag, or you can click on three two pound bags, six pound total. It's a special deal for $99 plus free shipping. They're on sale right now. Oh my gosh. Or, or there's That's a- That's awesome. So three for $99. If you buy two, one bag is $44. So it's almost, it's almost buy two bags, get one bag free. Okay, almost. that says bulk mini chocolate wafers. How is that different than what mine says? 100% pure organic Mine says Creole unsweetened cacao. chocolate mini wafers. Mine, you see that the description on mine is different. Oh, okay. I'm so that's not... Bulk I, mini Criollo chocolate wafer chips. Okay. Here, here in the frying, in the frying. Cool. In, in the frying. Well, that's a better deal then. Yeah, here at the top, bulk mini chocolate Criollo chocolate wafer chips, 100% organic cacao, unsweetened. Nice. So that's these. Okay. Beautiful. So thank you. Who suggested that? Who, who found that? Somebody found it. Awesome. Uh, Ian says, does local spicery, oops, it just moved. Um. I'm looking for it. A question from Ian. Yes. It was about, do they ship to, you know, it's difficult for them to ship outside of the country because um, food has a lot of restrictions on it. So I don't believe that they can ship outside of the U.S. That was Karen Gaylor that found the Creole chip, three, the, the three, two. Thank you for that, Karen. So Kathy Koch says, are your batch salad containers plastic or glass? If plastic, are you concerned about leaching? I am not. They are plastic and I am not um, concerned about it. Okay. So we never, they never get heated up. We don't put them in the dishwasher. We wash them instead. That's supposed to help the plastic from breaking down as rapidly. So, um, so I'm, I'm not concerned. If I could find nice lightweight containers, I don't think I can put 14 glass containers like that on one shelf in my refrigerator. If I could find some nice stainless steel containers that were lightweight, then I, I might do that. But we have not found um, any other containers so far. Another, Tom's looking for a da 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 da. Well, there, I had a question on my computer and I don't see it here. I, it was know, about pans. And this keeps jumping. Oh, my, um, my chat scroll keeps jumping. I don't know. Well, you're on live chat, so I don't know why that would be an issue. I don't know. It just like all of a sudden okay, jumps. Okay, well, here, I'll read you the question. Okay, read me the question. Uh, the question is. Um, yeah, and we never microwave plastic containers either, Jesse. We don't microwave in them. We don't put them in the dishwasher. We always hand wash them. Um, okay. Hopefully that helps. Yeah, Carol is asking, what skillets do you prefer now for oil-free cooking on your stovetop? Mine have worn out and I need to purchase two new ones. Okay, so we get asked this a lot. 
and it's a total minefield. Do you want to come over here so we can talk about it? Yeah. And it's a total minefield. So our son I, wanted a new set of cookware. And so Tom and I did research and we decided to get him a set of stainless steel. Cuisine art, stainless steel. It's a beautiful set. We have a video. Um, did we do one on YouTube? It's all on Amazon. It's on Amazon. But that's not nonstick. Her question is yeah, specific and to nonstick. But what I want to say is all of the experts will tell you that the safest cookware to use is stainless steel. And so we can only recommend stainless steel as being the safest. As far as the other types of nonstick pans, I really feel like people have to do their own research and decide what you're comfortable with. Because every time we suggest something, somebody comes up and is controversial about it. And so, you know. We, we've picked a couple that are the, the most well-behaved, as non-stick <laughs> pans go. And they are featured on our Amazon product channel. And that's uh, amazon.com forward slash live forward slash nutmeg notebook. And I'll make sure there's a link to that in the show notes. So the two that we do use, and we never use them on high heat because the instructions are, you know, I think it's 525 degrees or less, something like that, is the green pan and the scan pan. And the green pan is the reasonably priced version and the scan pan is the very fancy, very beautiful, high priced version of a nonstick pan, both featuring some kind of ceramic type coating that is durable so far as metal utensils, although we only use a gentle potato masher in that regard. Um, so you can see full show and tell on those two products on the Nutmeg Notebook Amazon channel, and I'll put the, the link in the show notes, where Tammy shows them, takes the lid off, lets you see inside, we talk about how we use them. That's all on Amazon in, in one of our live sessions. Yeah. Um, and we've just, yeah. we've decided that um, for the occasional use that we need no. to use them for something, um, to brown something without oil, like veggie burgers, then that we're okay with using it. But as far as being able to tell people, you know, well, this is the safest one, we cannot make that claim because there's so much controversy out there about the nonstick coatings, how they're applied, the chemicals that are used. So I just feel like everybody has to make that decision for themselves. And, um, you know, like Tom said, you can look at the two that we decided that we're comfortable using, but um, a lot of people don't use any nonstick at all. Um, you pretty much can't make pancakes or waffles if you're not willing to use oil free anyway to use the nonstick coated waffle maker and some kind of a pan or a griddle that is nonstick because if you try to do it on stainless steel they're absolutely going to stick so so we do use some nonstick um, for you know a few things browning veggie burgers and um, if we you know want to saute up a big batch of vegetables and not have them stick but you can still yeah. do that in stainless steel yeah. the, yes the very first video is stainless steel kitchen appliances and utensils and if they just scroll use the carousel it, it can take it takes them right to the green pan well do you want to put that on screen and okay. show them and then put yourself on and talk about it um well i am on it. okay so um let me let me get that part up here i don't know what I, i've got it in the carousel and that's the stainless steel one so this is the one I was talking about and I got to this by going to our video about stainless steel products which mm -hmm. is here and here's where you're showing the stainless steel set and then this carousel at the bottom is where you're flipped back and forth to see where the links are to the various products and so this happens to talk about the green pan here so you can go to any of our live shows and find, um, you know, uh, mm -hmm. click through the carousels to see what they're about. Okay, perfect. So, and Jesse, you're right. You can make sheet pan pancakes. So that's a thing. Our daughter does that because she has a family of five. And, you know, those kids want um, pancakes when they want pancakes. And so she does make the sheet pan pancakes. Just Google it. 
and you can find them. You can take a regular recipe and veganize it so that it doesn't have eggs and milk in it. And, um, and you can make those in the oven. And then they do make a silicone um, waffle mold. I think Chef AJ has one. And so you can pour your waffle batter in there and then you can bake them in the oven. So I haven't tried those. I don't know how well they work and um, what the result is like, if they actually do get crispy or not. So, yeah. so it's, you know, it's up to everybody. We don't judge anybody. We use a little bit of the nonstick coating things. Occasionally it's not every day and yeah. we're there's happy a, with what we have. Yeah, there's a comment, a comment in there on the green pans. There are various levels of green pans. Mm -hmm. Some of them even I think have a green inside coating or something. And ours is the one with the white ceramic coating, and they're mentioning that the osiery where they have over at True North is also ceramic coating. All the two that we do use do feature that hard ceramic coating uh, for the sake of durability, and they don't flake off and stuff. You know, we used to use the T falls, and they didn't. I mean, they would last for a little while, and then we'd throw them away and get another one because their coating would actually start coming off. So uh, we rarely use those anymore. So, um, Lucy dropped her osiery and now has a dent. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, it gives it character and it may even enhance the flavor in some way. So. Well, yeah, I bet. Of course. Sure. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we're, we're at an hour. We are. You it used, goes by fast. You used up your hour. I did. And you used it well. Thank you. So, was there anything else we wanted to cover announcements wide? Um, or? We were just going to say that you can still um, sign up for Truth About Weight Loss. Yeah, it's still going. It. It's still going, and you can still get on there and catch some great uh, uh, presentations that are still in front of us. And and then if you decide to get the replay purchase option, then you can go back and watch any of them that you want to. Uh, and our link for that, yeah, I'm gonna need to put that in the show notes. I'm gonna go Ooh, do that. I didn't. Okay, do Tom's that. gonna go do that. Well, shall we say goodbye first, or you well, need to get then I won't have the show notes. Oh done. well, okay. I'll talk while you do the show notes then. Um, yeah, the truth about weight loss, Jesse says, will be going through February 26th. Yes, so quite a long time. Gina says, I like the green patina in my Holland Mill bowl. Yes, that is a reward for eating your salads, chopping them and eating your salads. Uh, what about the link for the ebook class? Wendy, just go to our uh, website, nutmegnotebook.com, click on courses. And that will take you, we have two courses. We have a beautiful chopped salad course and we have the batch cooking with Tammy course. And it will take you to that. So nutmegnotebook.com, click on courses. There's tabs across the top of the website. Click on courses and it will take you there. And the discount code is batch25, B-A-T-C-H, 25 for 25% off. Wendy says, I have a product that makes pancakes without a non-stick. Great, no egg, no milk, no sugar, no fat, no cholesterol. Wow, that's cool. Lots of great information here today, you guys. Okay, I got the, I, I got the Truth About Weight Loss link in the chat and on the show notes. And people have to refresh their page to see it show up in the show notes. Mm, thank you. Tom put a link in for the... Truth About Weight Loss Summit. So you can still get it on that. Wonderful speakers. We got to listen the first couple days, but we haven't had time since because we haven't been home. I don't know. What have we been doing? Oh, we had the grandkids. We had grandkids yesterday. No, not yesterday. Day before. What happened to yesterday? <laughs> uh, what did we do yesterday? We can't even remember. We're so bad. Mm -hmm. We worked all day yesterday. I worked on taxes, yeah. Yeah. Tax time. Wow. Kelly says, thank you, Tom and Tammy. Summer Nichols says, what kind of miso does Tom use in his dump soup? Um, I think you showed it in the video. Yeah, it's in the video. Um, and it's also right here. And I don't remember the name of it right now. Um, you know, it depends on where we're at when we buy it, what brand we get. Where's my miso? I don't know where your miso is. Oh, it's way in the back. Oh no. It's 
because you didn't make it today. If yeah. you made it today, it'd be towards the front. Miso, miso master from miso, Whole Foods. From miso Whole Foods. master. Yeah. Okay. Miso master. And I use the white, the white medium mellow. You know. You did buy red. I what did you red. think of the red? Oh, it's okay, but I like the white better. You like the white it's better. It's smoother. Uh huh. It's more more comfort foodish or something. Okay, you like the flavor better. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Wendy I, says, can you show us the frog? Frog? I don't know what that means. Uh, what does what does that mean? Can you show us the frog? We don't have a frog. <laughs> I we don't have a, know. we have a turtle in the pond. We have a full whole family of turtles. Yeah. But that we see once in a while they come we up do. on the log. Oh, refrigerator. But, she not the frog. Oh, that I was she like tried the to say frog. Fridge. <laughs> so, yeah, she, she wanted to see the fridge. Oh, well, you can open it. Yeah, you're. It's a disaster right now. Yeah, because we just went shopping and shoved we, everything in it because yeah. we had a show. Tom ran to Costco while I was getting my teeth cleaned, yeah. and so everything's just But you can see it's there. full of batch prep salads over here behind Tammy. Oh, you moved in. Yeah, it's right here. I'll duck. Batch, batch prep salads. And then this is my dump soup drawer down here, uh, loaded up with carrots and, and Brussels sprouts and, and celery and everything. Here's nice. Tammy, Tammy's herb garden, <laughs> her, her herb tents. Does it show? Yeah. Yeah, those work good. Got, gosh, lots of vegetables. And we have another refrigerator in the garage that's stuffed full of stuff. So Sylvia says, is a ceramic coating okay? Sylvia, really do do some online research and, um, and you know, it, it has to be a decision that everybody yeah. makes for themselves. It's more durable than the plain Teflon coatings, but it still has Teflon in it infused with ceramics so it's more durable mm -hmm. so well it's not going to break down as quickly yeah so so anyway okay okay i think that's it all right well then then i can push the button so i think i'm on, yeah i'm on screen here Are you our, on screen our monitor is way over there and our camera's here so when we're looking at you guys we can't see how we're looking at you guys mm -hmm. i guess yeah. So, okay. So everybody stay safe. Lots of big wind and storms are supposed to be hitting us. Yeah, Jesse, thank you. And going across. Yes, yeah, Jesse. She, she, she's, she's, she's at Nam Magnum, but the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I was like, the frog. Can you show us the frog? And I thought, did I miss something? Did Tom talk about a frog? Well, I do way more typos than that in the, in the newsletter. So <laughs> anyway. So, okay. Uh, we will see you next week. We have a, do we have a guest for next week? We do. Uh, okay. Are we announcing who our guest is? We are. We can. Yeah, we're having back on our channel somebody we met during the uh, ultimate uh, the vegan ultimate vegan health and weight loss bundle, uh, Rachel Detroit, mm -hmm. and she actually it worked out that she was doing a cooking class, like from two to three our time, and then she's we're going to have her come on at three. And she's going to go over all this wonderful stuff that she will have just completed making and tell us what's in it and how it turned out. and Some potato and, dishes. And are they a Mediterranean uh, yeah. spin on mm -hmm. the situation? Yeah. yeah, I miss some Mediterranean foods we're going to be introduced to. So we're looking forward to that next yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, she's adorable. Yeah. I just really clicked with her. She's about the age of our daughter and our son. She's right mm -hmm. there. And, and um, we, we just seem to really love the kids that are our kids age too. all the children the same age as dylan and reeves <laughs> yes. uh, all those children okay. all those children okay uh, we're drawn to them we love that okay lucy so, says rachel is great she so. is great so that should be really fun she's so upbeat and positive and and chill yeah you know she's just chill okay. so i love that all yeah right. so it'll be fun it'll that's going to be really fun so watch your truth about weight loss I, aj sent something out about um, um, there's a, a heart summit that's going to be going on that she sent out about. Um, I think that's about all that's really going on in the plant-based okay. community that we know about right now. Yeah, and then you answered the question about we are cooking something at the NHA, but we don't know what. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. And okay. Oh, I know. I also wanted to tell you guys, if we're curious how many of you follow us 
on Facebook as well because I did, I pinned a post to the top of my Nutmeg Notebook Facebook page and it's for everybody to um, put in there, talk about what you found in the bundle that you like. So it could be a recipe. To share with each other. To share with each like other. Like a forum. Yeah, so that we can see what everybody's finding because, you know, everybody's been telling me how overwhelming it is. There's so much information. You don't know where to begin. So I put a bunch of, of pictures of things that I have made and I told you who the author was and what the name of yeah. their digital product was in there. And then other people are starting to put things in there yeah, as share, well. Share your gems for everybody yeah. to see. If you've made a gem, share the picture Take because because this is a reply to Tammy's post so everybody is able to to post a reply to this pinned post so yeah um, so it doesn't have to be a recipe though if you you know did the how to declutter your house if you did um, the uh, yoga if you did one of the exercise yeah. things whatever it is that you found that was really interesting please go there yeah. and put it in and another thing if you try a recipe off of the blog please leave a comment and a review and you can even rate it um, there's like you can do up to five stars because that really helps the next person who comes and looks at it and they think oh I wonder if I should make that and then if they see reviews positive reviews then they're more encouraged yeah, about trying yeah. it. Yeah Lydia says she's not on Facebook and so no worries if you're not on Facebook then then don't worry about posting there. Uh, we are working with the folks at Good Self on having a Nutmeg Notebook, um, are called a support page or a... A support group. A support group. For plant-based. Uh, for plant-based on, on, the, on the Good Self app so that we can have, it almost is like this chat, except it would be available all the time for anybody to go on ask a question of yeah. the group ask a question of tammy we're excited about and so doing that they they're putting the final touches on the software uh, on that mm -hmm. and we hope to have that within the next two months or so yeah and and that's By april yeah so we're, we're not starting a group on facebook or uh, we're, we're looking at doing that inside the the health and wellness application where where it's a safe place for that kind of forum to belong is in that health and wellness application good self so we're looking forward to the nutmeg notebook yeah and i'll be doing uh, a good support. talk on tuesday with sia at 9 a.m on good self and tom was able to record last week's is posted last week's and, and then posted yesterday's, on good self yesterday's posted on good should self. be posted by the end of tomorrow because it takes me a couple days to get them um downloaded and then re-uploaded mm -hmm. so yeah okay okay so that i think that covers everything and yeah. somebody asked Will we be getting a reminder about what's going on next week? And Jesse on Wednesday, answered, yeah. Jesse answered yes. If you're on the mailing list, you'll get a reminder. And also, if you click on the bell that's underneath the video, if you're a subscriber of this channel, Not Make Notebook on YouTube, and you click the bell, you get a notification when we go live or when we post yeah. a new video. Yeah, and to be clear, the, the reminder emails, the newsletter, the Nutmeg Notebook announcements, whatever you choose to call it, <laughs> those happen Wednesday mornings, the same day, and then the live is Wednesday afternoon. We're trying to consolidate our time, and so Wednesday is Nutmeg Notebook day. Uh, and and so those two things. Unless we have a dentist appointment. Unless we have a dental appointment, <laughs> which I got up really early this morning and did the email early this morning and launched it before we went to the dentist so that it would be out. Um, you know, I used to spend uh, how, all, all of Wednesday afternoon doing the newsletter and then we would be going then live again on Thursday and, and that was burning up two days of time. So anyway, newsletter comes out hours, sometimes just a couple hours before, before the live and many folks have said they like that because it's that last minute reminder to go to, oh there's a video this afternoon when but they, if you have if you have a smartphone you can put it in schedule it put it on your calendar and give yourself a reminder you can put nutmeg notebook 3 p.m pacific or whatever time it is in your time but if zone. you just click on the bell youtube will do all that for you yeah or you can click on the bell or you can put it in your phone so that you get a reminder. Yeah, Jesse's saying, click a bell. <laughs> <laughs> and the like button. And she's using all caps, everybody. So I think that means pay attention. And smash that like button as well. <laughs>
we don't smash buttons here. <laughs> That's those other YouTubers. We I know. I was saying it because oh, the, you're, you're making, because I was kind of making fun because yeah. the young the young people go and smash that bell. The young YouTubers. Yeah, yeah. Not 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 the ones in the plant based community don't, but some of the others. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's okay. so funny. Let's All go. right. Thank you, Jesse, for being here and helping us. You are amazing. You always. She's so quick on the computer to find links and stuff. Mm -hmm. Her fingers just must be flying mm -hmm. when she's doing all that. So anyway, tell Richard hello for us. And thanks everybody for joining us today. This was really fun. Great questions. And we'll see you next week. I'm Tammy. And I'm Tom. And we help you get, get healthy, healthy and, and stay, stay healthy. healthy. One, one meal, meal at, at a time. time. One meal at a time. I have no idea what is in the sign off window. We're going to find out. Oh, we're going to find out. Could be a surprise. Oh, it's 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 the batch cooking cover. Oh, that's good because it's beautiful. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. I wish I had that meal right now. Okay. Bye. Bye.